This one, holy crap. Noli D, shout out to Noli, INN member, and uh, go follow Noli D at A J A N D N O W A Y at A J N O A. Okay, she would be all over this police accountability report. She were she she likes and supports Arizona sheriff likely in contempt for internal investigation backlog. And I remember she told me about this like months ago, and I. I couldn't believe this wasn't a story. This was in our friends at Courthouse News Service. The backlog is so severe that the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office would need two years and 117 more investigators to catch up with internal inquiries. Dirty cops, dirty cops, dirty, dirty, dirty cops. Oh, I got my drinks. You know I got my drinks, and 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 Reef celebrates in a different way. You got oh my champagne glass. I should have gotten got a bottle of Chandon. Yes, you were gonna. Yeah. You, you do. I know that you do have um, some some Jaeger in the, yeah, in the got, freezer, but I definitely have Jaeger. Wow, well, I think I just you know, hurt my finger on my ring. Anyway, elephant in this house, but so. holy crap! So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, a federal judge said Tuesday he's likely to find the Maricopa Sh County Sheriff's Office in contempt for understaffing positions responsible for investigating possible internal misconduct among its officers. Go figure. Of course, that's the thing that understaffs, right? Yeah. Right. The inquiry into the office mm -hmm. stems from a 2007 class action against the, the agency and then Sheriff Joe Arpaio, our, our old friend, claiming officers in the agent Ugh. in the agency racially profiled Latinos and unlawfully detained them We're during done. crime suppression sweeps. Well, we already know that that's true, mm. right? Tommy yeah. Nation, hey buddy. Okay, a federal judge said Tuesday he is likely to find the. What did I just do? What just happened here? No. You have had way too much coffee today. Yeah, I know. Okay, he's likely to find the Maricopa County Sheriff's. So what did I do? Did I just go back? No, you know. Ah, uh, now I see what happened. I clicked on the wrong screen. Through the years, Joe Arpaio refused to comply with orders from U.S. District Court Judge Mary G. Murray Snow to stop immigration patrols and to turn over traffic stop video evidence. Those failures led to a civil contempt ruling in 2016, months before Arpaio, a Republican, lost re-election as the county's top law enforcement officer to current Sheriff Paul Penzone, a Democrat. Arpaio was convicted of criminal contempt in 2017, but of course was pardoned by Donald Trump that same year. Thank you so much. Yep. In 2021, Snow appointed law enforcement expert Michael Janako to investigate and propose solutions to the agency's internal investigation backlog. Janako, in a report released in July, found it would take approximately 117 additional investigators two years to catch up on the caseload. Just two years. Think there's a little uh, bit of abuse happening. Overboard. Think there's a little bit of yeah. abuse happening that you need that you need those kind of internal little, investigations. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Currently, the county has seven investigator position opens, not not 117, but seven, with two additional civilian jobs proposed. I don't think they have a budget for 117 backlog cases. So currently, no. like I said, it seems to me if we need 117 to clear up the backlog, we aren't even getting close to the numbers required to get things done, Snow said during Tuesday's hearing. That is a federal judge who had, does have a sense of humor. Snow alluded to willful contempt in hiring investigators, particularly for internal investigators. Well, sure. Who wants to actually investigate their, themselves because, yeah. Quote, I do have grave concerns about the staffing up of the PSB. Uh, I understand the sheriff's office was engaging in advocacy, but when they told me that they'd raised the personnel in their office to 50 and in fact hadn't raised their investigators at all, that was somewhat, somewhat bothersome to me. Just a wee bit. <laughs> somewhat. Just a wee bit. Uh, yeah. I literally choked on that word there. Somewhat. <laughs> Snow was also troubled by an Arizona statute allowing the extension of the 180-day internal investigation period by an additional 300 days if the investigation does not conclude in that period. It's dropped completely. So basically, they're running out the clock on these investigations. 480 days. That's all they need. And they have... And they have... Sure. And they have enough for 117 investigators and two solid years worth of work. Quote, the current sheriff's department is making it impossible for any discipline to be imposed on police officers, surprise, surprise, or on deputies who may merit discipline because of the length of the delay. 
<laughs> you know why? Because there'd be no more cops left. Quote, I'm interested yeah. in speeding up the compliance in a way that will be consistent as, as consistent as possible. Okay, and to the extent that it's inconsistent with my order in compliance with state law, whatever the hell that means. But basically, right. Snow suggested that the seven open investigator positions be filled in 60 days, but he wasn't sure how they'd be willing to time, timely initiate these hires. Right? He referred to recommendations by plaintiff's counsel that the court create an incentive via weekly fine after 60 days expire. The fine is the, necess the amount necessary to recruit, hire, train, and compensate a full-time investigator for one year for every week that they're that they haven't hired somebody they're going to get fined a full year's worth is this oh, is this the soros right? sheriff it might be i don't know but and certainly if you start accruing enough in that fund i imagine that you shall have the people that, that are willing to do the job okay so that's that's what the the judge is suggesting the sheriff's office objected right. to the requirements to fill the investigator positions within two months, claiming it has specific standards to meet in hiring. Of course it does. Okay, quote, right. I'm going to require that you move quickly, the judge says. If you have to do that by virtue of a court order, it will be by a court order. I don't like to assume responsibility mm. for your budget. And that's after only, and it's only after six years that I'm willing to do that. And the judge did not say whether he would issue the, the court order. And uh, again, that's okay. that's from Courthouse News and um, A Cab, A Cab, I'm liking their stuff. Fucking A Cab, man. 